guys, how's it going? It's Golden Week in Japan and it's also my favorite holiday of the year because for the next five days I'm gonna have no work. I'm in Miyazaki and I'm gonna be here surfing for the next six days. Uh, you're probably wondering where and why did I come to Miyazaki? Well, Miyazaki is located on the eastern coast of Kyushu and surrounded by the Pacific Ocean. And Miyazaki is one of the best places to actually surf in Japan. There are actually three places in Japan that are really good for surfing. Uh, the first one is in Miyagi in Sendai, which is in northern part of Japan. And then there is Chiba, which is in Tokyo, near Tokyo, which is where I go surfing all the time. And then there's Miyazaki. Now why they, all three of those places are great is because they have this like same curve that goes like this. And so the surf conditions and the swells are actually quite good and they're always like constant. And the good thing about Miyazaki is that there's no one here. So it's kind of like a private surf session. I'm at this point, it's called Akahe. Uh, which is right next to the airport. The airport is just like over there. The fastest way to get to Miyazaki is by flying. Uh, I flew from Tokyo Haneda Airport and it took about one and a half hours, which is uh, pretty fast. And so it was my first time actually taking the surfboard onto a plane, which is kind of scary because I've heard some pretty uh, crazy stories about people's surfboards being broken. But in Japan, the airline stuff is really nice and friendly so they don't really uh, throw your board so that they take care of your stuff uh, but still for protective with like bubble wrap and like sponges uh, just check on youtube there's a lot of videos about how to pack your surfboard so um, anyway i think you're probably sick of me talking so i'm gonna go surf so i'm gonna change my gopro now こんにちは。宮崎初めてじゃない初めてです。そのお友達はそこですよ。あのホテル。そうそうそう、あそこのあのホテル。それで温泉に入りたかったら600円あの券持って600円に入れるそうです。ああ、なるほど。それでいつで
so that nice lady who owns this like pension or apartments uh, thought I was Japanese and I told her I was from Australia and she was like oh my god I thought you were from Japan so and my name's Ken which is a very common Japanese name too so this is the place that we're staying at it's called Aoshima Pension it's about 7,000 yen for one night which includes breakfast and dinner and if you don't want breakfast and dinner, it costs about 3,500 yen. So it's pretty cheap. And the beach is just there, like a 10 minute walk, I think. I haven't actually walked there yet, but I think it's that close. Okay, the first cafe I'm going to is called Ao. And they are open. There's always a way to open any door. Miyazaki, there's a lot of delicious food. Uh, they have this like chicken that's being charcoal. I highly recommend it. It's like one of my favorite food. Uh, this also, they have this food on um, with gobo, like fried gobo. And the soup is made uh, from this little fish broth. I can't remember what's the name, but you also have to try that. And they also have like Miyazaki beef. Uh, we tried it the other day and it's super delicious. A little bit pricey though, but you have to try the wagyu here. The most famous food in Miyazaki is probably chicken nanban, which is fried chicken with this like white tate sauce. But the place that we're going to has like all these different flavors like wasabi, um, like black, black beans. So I can't wait to try. Like a lot of people, even my friends from that come from Miyazaki, tells me you have to eat chicken nanban Miyazaki. It's like the real thing. The ones in like Tokyo are like all fake. So. <laughs> Cretan House. It's more like a cafe, so it's not very um, traditional Japanese izakaya or restaurant. Aizamas. So this is the normal white one. And this is ume, which is plum. This is ginger. And this is like the kara, uh, spicy. I think it's like a Chinese sauce that they use. And then the rest is like fried chicken. Oh my god, I've eaten like two pieces of chicken already. So good here. Miyazaki is like chicken number is definitely way better than Tokyo because the chicken is more fresh and the sauce is more like you know uh, very saucy. So Aoshima in Miyazaki, I think, is more of a tourist place than a surfing place uh, because the waves down south is quite smaller than where it's up north. Um, there's a lot of parking spots and cafes around here, so easily accessible for like families and kids to come in as well but, so if you are serious about surfing I think you should go to the north the very north of Miyazaki uh, from here it's about like a three hour drive I haven't actually been there yet because it's a little bit too far but I heard the surf there is like excellent Hi. <laughs> <laughs> this shrine that I'm currently walking to is called Aoshima Shrine and it's a famous tourist spot in Miyazaki in Aoshima and basically it's a shrine known for marriage so if you want to get married come here you can see behind me that there's the red gate thing like in ancient times the entire island was a sacred ground and entry onto it was not permitted until the Edo period. So, how did I know that? Well, I Wikipedia'd it. So. so, you're probably wondering what all these rocks behind me are. Uh, this place is called Onyu no Sen Taku Iwa, which means Devil's Washboard. It's a rock formation formed by crashing waves over millions of years. And it looks like a huge washboard. You know, the aquatic rocks formed the sea in the late Miocene, which is about 7 million years ago, and are uplifted with hard sandstone and soft mudstone repeatedly. Now, since they're washed in the waves for a long time, only the hard sandstone layer is like a plate which becomes visible. Super hot in Miyazaki, I think it's like 30 degrees today, which is awesome, but I need a drink or an ice cream. Kurogoma no ice cream. This is black sesame ice cream. Tastes really good.
you enjoyed my vlog and hopefully I've covered everything about surfing in Miyazaki. Um, if you have any questions, please write it in the comments and I will try and reply as best as I can. Um, and please uh, push the button below, give a thumbs up on my video and please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't. I'm trying very hard to get more subscribers. I know I should be making more videos, but uh, I will try harder and harder from now on. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.